we're in Powell River, you know, but it's clear whose land we're on, and that's something you grow up with. And I like to think everybody's got some respect for that. Bruta and Over the Edge really helped translate the mountain biking into a economic driver for our community. Oh, I think the, the ocean is our trademark. You know, there's not too many places that you can wake up in the morning and you know, go ride mountain bikes for two hours and then go take a bath in the ocean if you want to, or take your surfboard out and go have a good time. I mean, you know, from right here, it takes you about 10 minutes to get to the ocean. Great place to live. I often think about how regular folks look at mountain biking. I wonder what they must think about how we look diving into and out of the woods on our bikes, with sweat dripping off of our noses, dirt and mud covering our faces, and fresh scrapes and scratches visible on our arms and legs. What must we sound like to anyone who overhears a conversation about a ride? Or better yet, conversations about building trail? We must sound a bit silly professing our love for various soil types, using words like berms, corners, loam, and jank with huge grins on our faces. To outsiders, it's a nebulous and perhaps confusing affair, but to those of us who are knee-deep in this sport and community, riding bikes in the woods is a form of connective tissue, connecting us to both our planet and our communities. As crazy as it might seem to some, we know that the intersection of life and bikes is one of the places we feel most connected to ourselves and the world around us. My name's Dave Opko. Currently, I'm, I'm retired. After a lot of years working in the forest here, and uh, we had a farm on Texada Island, I'm, um, I'm getting to spend a lot more time on a bike, which is great. I've called Powell River home for about six, seven years now. Texada Island is in the Powell River Regional District, so it's kind of like we moved from the suburbs. Now, a suburb you have to take a ferry to, but uh, <laughs> the suburbs to town. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it's, I was on Texada for 30 years, so I've been in this, this area for 35 years or so. We're islands, I mean, it's the mainland, but yeah, you came up, it's a couple of boats. <laughs> that really changes things. It alters who's here, you know, and it's a filter, and there's been times in the last 30 years where that was really significant, and there's, there's been times I feel like I'm the only guy. I never was, there was always other people riding. But, um, uh, you know, even in other things, forestry and other things too, that, that this place is known for, you're still isolated and you end up kind of um, creating your own, your own little scene. You just feel like you're, you're isolated there in your little desert island and, and you find other people and, and that, it, Overall, all the way through, it's been like a really cool thing. I re that's one of the things I like the most about it, how it just creates this groovy organic scene. When I lived in the North Shore, when I lived in the city, there was always scenes, like whether it was skateboarding, which I was really into, or mountain biking, or road biking, but yeah, you, you, you always felt like you're trying to break in. And here you always feel like you're trying to create something, you know?
My name is George Gotchis. I run Over the Edge Fruta and the Fruta Fat Tire Festival. I moved to the Grand Valley in 1997. Over the Edge Fruta, it is an institution. It was born out of a place that kind of needed some love, was underappreciated. Moab, Utah is nearby. Moab is awesome. Uh, we have similar terrain, so we figured why not build our own trails. Over the Edge was the place where we wanted people to come ride and to make that awesome. Um, so our main goal here at Over the Edge Fruta is to just help you have excellent rides here and elsewhere um, and that's always been the, the goal and so we run a business but we also want to earn people's business earn them as friends take mountain bike retail to a different level um, yeah with uh, telling me what your name is and where you're from. Uh, my name is Jerry Gross and I'm from Coos Bay, Bandon area in Oregon. I am currently retired. I was a plumber for 40 years in this area and uh, about three years ago I was lucky enough to be able to retire. I've lived in this area for my whole life, 60 years and it's been a great place to grow up and actually played in these mountains behind us most of my life. The Wild Rivers Coast Mountain Bike Association, which I'm one of the co-chairs, um, we've made a deal with the county. This, all of our, this trail system is all on county land. And we made a deal with the county that we would maintain the trails if they would let us get grant money and build the trails on their property. And they've been really good to work with. We have some really good commissioners and a excellent forester that, you know, puts his input in and, and kind of inspects our work. And it's, it's been a very good relationship with the county. Our local club is the main push behind the maintenance and the building of the trails. This is a working forest, so there's a lot of things about it that come up, like one of my favorite trails is gonna be logged probably next summer. And it's sad, but it's a working forest, so you, you have to go with that.
guess the reason why I like to give so much to the trails is because I like to ride nice trails. I love riding nice trails. And I love giving back to the community that's been good to me for all these years. I have just as much fun on the end of a shovel out cleaning drainages when it's pouring down rain as I do when I'm riding. It's all about being outside, connected to nature, and making nice trails. I love making nice trails. I think we we owe the sport something, you know, some sort of legitimacy. You know, I I, always, I like mountain biking's whole free spirit thing, but to make it sort of sustainable and 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 just some legitimacy is a good thing still. And and again, just so you don't feel like you have people running around doing everything else, it starts becoming a more coherent, good scene. And that comes from sitting in a meeting somewhere and talking to people. I love running the store. I love the staff that we have at the store. I love that we get to have a staff at a store in Fruta. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it's just a worthwhile place to put energy into because it deserves it and it brings more than it takes. It really gives back, in my opinion. We usually have a pretty good backing from the community. Um, a lot of times at the meetings, um, we'll have you know 30 or 40 people show up in support for the new trail system. Right now we're working on a new trail system. On the Coquille watershed, we had close to 40 people show up to that city council meeting when we proposed the trails there. And it was very well taken, and actually today I just got an email that it sounds like they're gonna make it happen. Pretty excited, it's, you know, it's gone way further than I thought it ever would. It's fun to see the Grand Valley as a whole embracing cycling as a economic driver, as a social interaction, as a like personal growth interaction. And I think that that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And so there's people I've never met <laughs> uh, riding bikes here at this point, and I've been here a long time. And I think that's actually really awesome. In a small town, you're always going to develop that organic kind of scene because you know everybody. But we've had some cheerleaders, right, that are sort of from the industry side that have really, and that's just been luck. <laughs>
I think. You know, I don't know why you'd want to end up here running a bike shop. Maybe now, once the scene's there. Wow, those guys, uh, tons of respect to both, you know, Frank and uh, Justin for doing that and, and making that happen. Because that, that really uh, made it fun to be part of a scene. I've never said a bad word about somebody who actually puts the hours in to go and sit in meetings. It's, it's well, you said it in your question, it's it's hard to to do. Is Mahoney the direction we want to go or is cross country the direction we want to go? Let's kind of talk to people. Somebody has always sort of been willing to step up and do that. And I think um, Power is a good example of why that works. The mountain bike community here, it's really cool. There are different kind of zones and that certainly creates different groups of people that ride together, interact on bikes together. It's a very welcoming place overall and yeah, people are just excited about riding bikes. We're all volunteers. I mean, this trail system's taken care of 100% by volunteers and I've got, you know, 30 people that all I got to do is call up and say, hey, we're having a work party, and they all show up.